Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salamu ala Rasulullah Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh My dear brothers and sisters Today I want to be talking about something which is very well encouraged in Islam The Deen of Islam and the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wa sallam He encouraged this upon all of the Ummah And all of the Ummah of the, uh, of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wa sallam And that thing is husnu khuluq The good manners the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has ordered for us to maintain this good character and, his good, and, and good manners with the people. Many, many people today will say they know about good manners. They know what good manners means, but really they don't. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was asked about which deed will often make people enter into paradise. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam replied, Taqwa Allah wa husnu khuluq. The taqwa of Allah, to fear Allah, and to have good manners with the people. Here we can see that taqwa Allah is between you as the individual and with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the husnu khuluq is between transaction between you and insan. So these are the two things that Prophet sallallahu said that most people will enter into paradise because of these two things. The Prophet sallallahu also said the heaviest on the scale of deeds is the good manners. So my dear brothers and sisters, in this month we are trying to perfect uh, many things, trying to improve our, our qira'ah, we are trying to memorize a lot of the Qur'an, but most, most of all we need to improve on our good manners, because this is what, we'll, this is what we need to continue after Ramadan as well. So what is the definition of good manners? Uh, Al-Imam Hassan al-Basri, rahimahullah, he mentioned the good man is in three points. Number one, he said, it is refraining from harm. Refraining from harm. Number two, doing good to others. And number three, having a smile, which many of us have a problem with. Refraining from the harm by, by sayings and actions. Well, bil lisan wa fi'l. So we need to refrain from the harm not only by the tongue but by the action as well like for example the backbiting like the lying like the namima the carrying ca carrying of gossip and also mocking others as well this is something from the lisan that we need to refrain from and also the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he said the muslim is he who other muslims are saved by his uh, uh, speech and by his actions so when we need to defend our Muslim brothers and sisters behind their backs as well. When they're being taught, uh, spoken ill of, we need to defend them on that and not speak Ill, Ill of them uh, behind their backs. Also, from the actions like, for example, zina, for example, uh, stealing, for example, gambling, for example, even fighting the Muslims. Today we find, in, especially in the streets of London, Muslims are fighting Muslims. If, to, so to, to the extent where they had rivalry in Jahiliya and they both started practicing but they still have this heck, they still have this grudge with the, within each other and they fight each other as well like in uh, last year subhanallah I was in a masjid and the first of tarawih I, I took my family my mom and my my sisters and uh, a, a brother was stabbed in the wudu area by another Muslim this is the first of tarawih I don't want to mention the masjid or anything but those who are viewing know and secondly, we mentioned that refraining from harm by the speech and the action. And secondly, we mentioned doing good to others. Meaning, when we see someone who's, who, who needs help on the streets, whether they're Muslim or they're Kufar, we, we, we have a duty to help them. Because if it's, if, it's a, if, it's a, if it's a Kafir, then it's a chance for us to obviously sh show our good manners. This might, might make them inclined towards Islam. And secondly, if it's Muslim, then he already has duty towards you anyway. For example, if you see a Muslim with a broken down car, give him a hand. You know, this, will, this, 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 this is how you have the good manners with each other. And number three, Sheikh Hassan al-Basri, rahimullah, he said, to have a good, have a smile. Subhanallah, this is so easy to do. So easy to do, to have a smile. But many people, they choose to frown. And in fact, people, they think that frowning is a sifa of having taqwa and having uh, zuhud. So the, the more you frown, the, 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 the more you feel like you are, uh, you are on a, a, a higher level of taqwa. Well, no, if, in fact, it's not at all. Uh, 
just for example, someone could be, someone could be really not good looking. Someone could be, let's just say, uh, ugly for, for, for this matter. But he smiles all the time. The people, they will feel comf uh, comfortable around him. They will feel confident. They will seek his advice. They would like him because of his smile. But on the other hand, someone could be really handsome. Six foot tall, big blue eyes, uh, mashallah, long hair, mashallah, you know, muscular. But he frowns all the time. The people, they won't like him. People will stay well away from him. So my dear brothers and sisters, we need to, we need to uh, smile. And also the Prophet ﷺ, he said in a hadith that smiling is a form of charity. My dear brothers, which month is best for us to give charity? And the most easiest of charity is the smiling here that Prophet ﷺ has mentioned. So my dear brothers and sisters, let's use this month as a month of perfecting our character and being good to the people, whether they're Muslims or they're, or they're kuffar. And this is how we will have khushu in this month. Jazakallahu khairan wa salamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.